to my opinion matters. So it was a very rainy day but it's okay and we should thank God because we are still alive and healthy. So as you know folks, friends, uh, I'm doing a live stream right now in our house. In my normal practice, I used to do the live stream at school, but this time, because it is MECQ, we are not permitted to report to our work, so we are doing work from home, and so I'm doing the live stream right now, the live broadcast here at uh, in our home. And so, how was your day? I hope that you are doing well. So, welcome to my YouTube channel. The name of this YouTube channel is actually John Padillon and every Saturday I am doing a live stream and the title is up is up there my opinion matter okay and uh, this uh, this this uh, discussion or this uh, live stream is for is actually a learning discussion wherein I am discussing different current issues and also we I am doing the analysis of those issues using the principles and methods of social sciences. So I hope that today my friends are going to join me in another round of this discussion on my opinion matters. And so last time or last Saturday it was a very fruitful discussion because the topic is all is all about uh, mental health and uh, in that discussion we were able to actually um, enumerated and analyze all the signs no and the effects of this mental health and of course in our generalization okay we actually we found out that uh, during this time of pandemic we really need to relax no and not to worry more all about these stresses the stressors and the problems that we are encountering every day but we need to relax and let us not take the problem seriously so that we will not get stress and also we have to really nurture and take good care of our mental health and of course this time of pandemic no we really need we really need to not only give attention on the COVID-19 uh, cases but also we have to really uh, pay attention also on the uh, mental health of the Filipinos most especially for those people who are actually suffering from this COVID-19 and also for those people who are directly um, affected by this pandemic. No? So and so for today friends we are going to have another important uh, uh, round of discussion and we will look uh, on to uh, this topic no on this topic all about Filipino values no so that's our topic for today it's all about the Filipino values and my friends this uh, a very interesting question that we need to to uh, answer for today's uh, discussion is all about uh, this question do you think that Filipinos are naturally stubborn? Okay? So that is the question. Ha? Palagay nyo ba talaga mga Pilipino ay matitigas ang ulo? Because we are actually hearing from the government, from the news everywhere that uh, they are actually blaming no? uh, Filipinos. The reason for the, for the, for the uh, fast spread, no? the fast spread of this uh, pandemic, of this COVID-19 is because Many Filipinos, according to them, are not actually cooperating. Okay, so when they, when you tell them not to go outside of their house, but they are getting out. No, they're going out of their houses, and they are there. Uh, many Filipinos are actually still moving, still uh, going to the malls and different places. No, and it seems that they are not really scared about how dangerous that the danger that this COVID-19 can bring to them that uh, it can really compromise their health so that's the problem here no kaya the question is no uh, is it true that Filipinos are naturally uh, stubborn okay and this time we ha let us uh, look at the 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 aspect of 
ethics no the ethical aspect no the ethical side i mean of the filipino so let us dig deeper to the filipino values no ano ba talaga yung mga tunay na mga na pag-uugali no na asal ng mga pilipino and from this uh, topic uh, perhaps uh, we can ano we can get some solutions no, or recommendation and suggestions no that may help no to frame a very uh, what we call this effective and efficient uh, uh, solution no in order for us to solve the problems brought to us by this covid-19 okay so let us begin no so first let us try to define what is values no ano ba talaga yung tinatawag natin na values no when you say values according to inkeles values are actually the expression of the ultimate ends goals or purposes of social action so what we need to do is to understand that values actually these are uh, actually our expression no on how we express ourselves in, in terms of actions, in terms of words, that is expression. And we talk about uh, expression. Expression actually comes within ourselves, no? Nanggagaling to sa loob ng ating pagkatao. So, the, the expressions are actually, be, are actually manifested, no? By means of talking. So, how do we talk? no the manner of talking so how do we converse how do we interact with with other people uh, the what we call uh, how do we say the words or what are the words that we actually using uh, during that uh, during uh, whenever that we are uh, actually talking to other people so that is expression no another is how do we react our action no how do we react Okay, how do we show our mannerism? How do we uh, show our actions, no? Whenever we are actually talking or we are conversing, interacting with other people. So that is expression, no? So that is uh, everything that comes within through by means of our words, by means of our actions that is the expression of our true being the expression of our personalities so that is values and another thing is uh, what is the purpose of this action no what is the purpose of this uh, words that we are telling the manner of, uh, of how we in, we interact to other people that is actually the the purpose no the purpose means what is your goal no what is your intention no uh, is your intention is to actually uh, make friends with other people so is that your 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 goal no and the is your is your goal is to to make enemies with other people no is your goal is actually to convince no to sway other people so it depends on what are the intentions what are the goals actually that we are that we are um, uh, using in order for us to whenever that we are interacting uh, with other people so that's actually part of our values no and also uh, what's good about values is we're doing this no, for the purpose of social action no so that's very important so values because values is something that we actually observe and learn okay so this is not uh, something that that uh, when you were born in this world diba you already acquired that values no it is not ni it is not actually uh, ano uh, natural kasi it's more on the nurturing side no it's not natural more on the nurturing ibig sabihin values are being are being uh, acquired and learned no through the way we interact no and socialize with other people so that is how we learn actually values no and sometimes values are also observed diba it is also observed sabi nga nila values are not uh, being forced but it is actually being modeled no so if you want to teach values you have to have values so you cannot teach what you don't have that is very it is very important for us no to actually model no to live out the values no that we learn 
from our childhoods, from our uh, parents, and from other people. Okay, so that is values. And when we say Filipino values, no, these are uh, values that are those given emphasis in the culture and tradition of the Filipinos. So what are the positive or the negative values that we we observe no as Filipinos so that is Filipino values so these Filipino values are actually uh, makes make us unique no it gives us identity no it makes us unique as a Filipino as compared to other nations or other nationalities so that is the Filipino values no it makes it makes our our uh, nationality our identity as filipino unique and different from other nations from other race and from other nationality so that is filipino values another thing okay uh, according to this no to vitaliano filipino values are those we derive from our culture or way of life no from our distinctive way of becoming human in this particular place and time. So, what I like this on this is actually the term becoming human. That is why, di ba, asal tao. No? That is why when you say values, education, edukasyon, pagpapakatao. Di ba? So, that's very beautiful in Tagalog, pagpapakatao. So, values actually makes us human. Values makes us human being. So, nagigita, nagiging tao tayo because of the values that we possess and learn. Diba? So, that is the importance of values. Kaya nga, for those people who do not have values, diba? sinasabihan sila yung mga word na ano, na walang hiya. Meaning, they are not shame. Diba? They are not ashamed of what they are doing. Walang hiya. So, diba, pag galit tayo sa isang tao, talang nakita natin bastos yun ang, yung karamihan o kadalasang ating nasasabi. So, that is an expression, diba, uh, uh, of uh, showing that that person has no values at all. No? That's why yung mga bagay na pinapahalagahan natin bilang tao, that is values. At ano yung mga pinapahalagahan natin bilang tao? That is actually the Filipino values. That Those are the things that we value a lot, the things that we treasure. Diba? So that is the, the values. Okay? Now, so, historically, uh, historically speaking, no, um, uh, when we say values, no, Filipino values, okay, how, how Filipinos, okay, really value, huh, or give emphasis on their values as a human being, okay. Now, in in the in the historical perspective, no, according to Sonia Saide, no, in this uh, account, no, which happened during the occupation or the colonization of the Spaniards in the Philippines no so in here in 14th century okay it was observed that chinese traveler or uh, traveler praised the honesty of filipinos thus after agreeing on prices the barbarian or the barbarian traders carry off the goods for bartering the native products and bring this product back to the Chinese in the amount agreed on. Okay, they are trustworthy and never fail to keep. Okay, the agreement of their bargains. Okay, so as we can see, no, really from the historical perspective, from the history, we can see that our forefathers, no, yung mga ninuno natin, they are, they really possess positive values of a Filipino. As stated from this uh, account, no, sinasabi rito, that the Chinese, they, they saw Filipinos, our forefathers, being trustworthy, okay? being so honest, na pagkakatiwalaan, diba? they are trustworthy, they are very honest. Because we know the fact that during the, the pre-Coronia, uh, the pre-Spanish, no, the pre-Coronia colonial period in the Philippines, our forefathers, yung ating mga ninuno, ninuno, they already established what we call barter system with the Chinese, the Arabs, and the Hindus. Diba? 
So these are the simple ano economic activities, the barter system. So they that is when they ano they exchange, di ba? That is where they exchange uh, products, no? Yung mga local products, the raw materials from the Philippines, they actually exchange that to the products of the Hindu, Arabs, and the Chinese. And the Chinese traders, no, before the coming of the Spaniard, they saw that Filipinos are actually trustworthy, mapagkakatiwalaan, and they're very honest, no? Where in fact, according to this account, no, they called Filipinos as barbarian pa nga, no? Uh, but Filipinos are actually civilized, no, before the coming of the Spaniards. So, it's, they are not considered as barbarian because they already have civilization just like the other nations, no. And so, the, the Filipinos, no, um, they actually uh, carry the native, uh, they carry the native products, no, and bring those products to the to the Chinese boat or vessel, see. So we can see that Filipinos, our forefathers, already possess the the positive Filipino values of being honest and and trustworthy. Okay. Now another story, okay, uh, coming from Ambet Ocampo. Now in this account. Norodom the first of Cambodia, so the, the the king of Cambodia and also a Thailand before, who visited who visited in 1872 months after the execution of the priest Gomez Burgos and Zamora. Okay, our car archival material is so detailed with individual receipt. Okay, for all the expenses for the visit. Materials for triumphal arches or arches, cloth or yes, cloth for festoons and banderitas, food and drink, so as good time could be had by all. So Norodom was so impressed with Filipinos' hospitality, he ordered one of his ministers to ask the Spanish Governor General for a complete list. Of everyone who had contributed to the success of the visit, so Norodom later bring all this individual, okay, various medals, ribbons of the kingdom, uh, of the what we call, uh, yeah, state decorations. Okay, so as we can see here, that during that time, this is 1872, when Norodom the first visited the Philippines, this actually is during the time of the Spaniard, the, the Spanish colonization in our country. So Filipinos um, showed what we call remarkable, remarkable hospitality to King Norodom the first. No wonder why, when in Cambodia during the time of Norodom, he had he had the uh, he had many servants uh, with Filipino nationality. Okay, most of their most of his servants are actually Filipinos because he really admire and love Filipinos in the court of Norodom. Yan, si Norodom the king, King Norodom of Cambodia. So there was an historical account, no, that I read before saying, no, that uh, in the court of Norodom there are many Filipinos there working because he really admire. He really trusts Filipinos. That's why he prepared Filipinos to serve in his court. Yan. And when Norodom actually visited Philippines in 1872, he witnessed how hospitable are Filipinos. And actually, our forefathers, we are very known about our qualities, no, our values of being hospitable. Yan. So that is number one Filipino values, no, yung pagiging hospitable, diba? So actually there are different ways on how Filipinos show their hospitality okay there are different levels and manners we can show that and one of that is it seems that we are welcoming foreigners we are welcoming people to our house to our nations because we are very friendly no Filipinos are very friendly that's why we always welcome foreigners we always welcome people to our house even if there's no invitation, no. In the Philippines, there, if there's no invitation, people, your friends or other people can really visit your house, no. Even though there are no prior uh, 
uh, invitations or there's no prior what we call the walang pasabi no there no, there's no prior information that this particular people or your relatives are actually visiting your your house yan so paggising mo nandiyan na lang but we welcome them uh, so it is actually in our culture that we are really hospitable because we always welcome people in our house in our home in our country no wonder why during the the spanish colonization in our country 1521 diba when magellan uh, came to our country he was actually welcomed by Raja Humabon and our and other datus in Visayas. It was only uh, Rahal or King Lapu-Lapu who fought with him, diba? but the other datus actually welcomed um, Magellan and other Spaniards. No? And uh, there is what we call the blood compact which uh, symbolizes the friendship of the Filipinos and also the Spaniard. That is very that that was the first time that there was a blood compact no in the Philippines happened during the time of Humabon and also the time of uh, Magellan. See, so we are very hospitable, diba? And we can see from uh, our history that uh, there are many accounts that we also welcome foreigners, no, and other visitors in our home, in our house, and also in our country. Okay. So we can see from the historical perspective that really Filipinos are re really possess already the positive Filipino values uh, even before the the time of the coming of the Spaniards and during the time of the occup of the Spaniards and the Americans we really possess no the Filipino the positive Filipino values now so what are the core of these values that we possess as Filipinos no okay so these are the the important core of the values of the Filipinos. So we have the truth, no? Truth or katotohanan, di ba? So because we are being honest, our forefathers are always telling the truth. Because in the Bible nga, the truth shall set you free. That's why Filipinos really would like to know what is the truth, di ba? And that's very important no because uh, you cannot trust people or you cannot trust trust anyone if that person is not telling a truth or the truth or being dishonest to you you know the the japanese people they don't like dishonest people if you are a uh, let's say if you're a businessman and then you're going to ano uh, to have business with the japanese people number one requirement is you have to be honest to them because if you are dishonest, they, they, they will not love you. So, yeah. So, just like Filipino, okay, we are all actually looking and finding for what is the truth. Diba? Ano ba talaga yung katotohanan? What are the real score? What are the real condition? And what are the real situation uh, of what is happening to our country? to the healthcare system in this country we can see the issue of this uh, of this uh, field health no it seems that there are there are some officials of the of the field health that that are actually not telling the truth they are hiding the truth to the people about the 15 billion pesos that they have stolen from the people and that is one way of hiding the truth so we Filipinos, we deserve the truth because truthfulness is one of our core values as Filipinos. No? So we have to live according to the truth. Diba? We have to be transparent. Diba? Transparency is actually uh, an example of being truthful to yourself. So you have to be transparent, not only in action, not only in words, but also in your lifestyle. Diba? So what kind ba? How do you live your life? Because there are there are some people who are actually very good, diba, in speaking about uh, his life or their life. But then in reality, how do they live uh, the things that they are telling to people? Diba? Minsan hindi nakikita sa pamaraan na paumuha yung kanilang mga sinasabi. Yeah, that's why they have to tell the truth because people deserve the truth. Filipino people deserve the truth. Ba? Please tell us the truth. Where where is now the the 15 billion pesos that you have stolen from the people? You have to tell the truth. Now another core value is love. 
Yan. So love. What is love? No? This is something that science cannot uh, explain. It's very difficult to explain. It's very difficult to to measure uh, the the word love, no? But when you say love, no, it comes within, no? Parang love is something that comes out to a person, no? So uh, when you love a person, when you love a particular thing, when you love somebody, diba, you give value to that thing, to that person. Kasi love is an energy. It is a positive energy. And if you express love, if you are in love, you are beginning to what? To value a person, to value a thing. Nagkakaroon ng halaga ang isang bagay o isang taong iyong minamahal. That is why when we say love, no, if you love somebody if you love something it's be it's very difficult to let go diba it's a reality that when you love something that if you love somebody parang it's very hard for us to detach or to let go of something that we really possess we really love diba so that's love so when you are in love diba you value things you value that particular person you value that particular thing and when you value that person no you are willing to sacrifice so sacrificio or sacrifice is actually related to love diba so and that is not easy no because when you sacrifice something diba you sacrifice your energy you sacrifice your resources it's not very easy to sacrifice things to sacrifice things actually but then Uh, sacrifices is actually a manifestation that you are in love. Okay? Isa yan sa mga masasabi natin na ano, na palatandaan na ikaw ay nagmamahal. Okay? Ikaw ay nagmamahal. Because you are willing to sacrifice actually yourself, no? For something that you value so much. For someone that you value so much. Okay? So, yan. Another thing is faith. Yan. Faith or what we call pananampalataya. Okay? So faith is also what very important, no? It is actually a core values of a Filipino. So we know the fact that Philippines, no, we are the we are actually the majority of the Filipinos are Catholic are, and we are a very devoted Catholic, diba? And and No matter how difficult life is, we never lose our faith to God. That is remarkable qualities of a Filipino. It is a very positive, a very beautiful values of a Filipino that we never loses, no? We never loses our faith to God. And that is faith. Even though that we don't see God, diba? And sometimes we don't feel that there is God. But because we have, we have faith, we have strong faith to God, that, that faith that we possess gives us the window to feel and see God. Diba? And that is very important. Okay? That uh, meron tayong matatakbuhan, meron tayong, meron tayong masasandalan, and that is God. And we develop this the the strong faith no we we develop it through our constant and frequent communication to god and that is actually what we call the prayer and that is very important that we need to develop the develop within us the prayer life okay another values the core values that we have is the integrity yan when we say integrity in a layman's turn when we say this is also we can say that integrity is equivalent to honesty yan how do you value no the yung yung pagkatao mo your worth as a human being so that is integrity okay how honest are you okay honesty is also equated to integrity okay so if you are a type of a person that you value honesty you value your word, diba? yung word of honor or palabra de honor. So, you have, you are a person with integrity. Okay? Now, in other nations like Japan, diba? If, if, uh, you, 
for example, if a particular da- Japanese has lost his or her integrity, nagpapakamatay na yan. Diba? That's why during the, the, the age of war diba? in Japan, meron silang kamikaze. Diba? When you say kamikaze, no? uh, kamikaze or another is what we call the sipuku. Diba? These are the things that, ano, eh, that are related to suicide. Kasi they believe sa mga Japanese culture na pag natalo ka sa gera o kaya nabaon ka sa utang, you are losing actually your integrity, your worth as a human being. So what's the use of living in this world if you have lost your worth, your dignity as a person, your integrity as a person? Kaya in the Japanese culture before, talaga ang taas ng mga suicide, suicidal rate dyan, or the suicide incident because of because this is related to dignity okay and that of our government officials na that they're selling their dignity integrity that integrity is also equated to our name diba our family name diba so that is integrity diba and integrity is also ready of uh, negative issues or accusations diba parang it's very hard it's very hard for us to recover and to to move on kasi nasira na yung pangalan mo di ba so because our name that's very important that's part of our integrity that's the the name our the family name that we are carrying is actually part of our dignity as a person integrity as a person that is why we should not do things negative things that will destroy our name di ba kaya ang dami mga taong pumapasok sa mga sa politika, sa mundo ng politika na nababahiran ang kanilang pangalan. And therefore they are what? They are losing their dignity as a person, their worth as a human being, and they're using their they are losing actually their integrity as a person. Okay? Another thing is the hard work. Yan. So this is very important, no? The hard work as Filipinos, how do we, how do we pers, pers, uh, how do we what we call this? How do we live out our life? How do we work? Diba? Yung kumbaga, it's a matter of perseverance. Hard work is related to perseverance. No, there's no free lunch in this world. That's why we have to really ha- work harder. No, if you want to achieve. If you want to acquire something in your life, if you want to to achieve your goal in life, you have to learn to work hard. Diba? Perseverance is very important. Diba? Now, in, in education, there is what we call grit. Okay? This is new, no? Yung the, the, the study about the grit. And it is very important that we teach our children the value of grit. No? So when you say grit, ah, uh, grit is something that related to hard work. So re- we really need to teach our children, our students to really learn to master the action or the values of hard work. They need to learn that. Kailangan matuto silang magbanat ng buto, iba. In Tagalog, hard work is banat ng buto. So it's a beautiful praise no yung banat ng buto it means that you have to really work harder work hard in order for you to achieve your goal and to acquire something or to possess something in this world okay so so in working hard you need to what to persevere magpursige ka and at the same time you have to be patient diba so these are the positive values actually that are related equated to to hard work no you have to be patient no because we know the fact that uh, we cannot uh, easily get things instantly diba so we have to wait for the perfect time for us to be given or to get that thing or things that we really desire or the goals that we are really longing for to achieve so it takes a lot of perseverance it takes a lot of patience no in order for us to really work 
hard in order for us to become successful in our life. Yeah, so that is the value of hard work. Another thing is the social justice. Yeah. So social justice is related to showing compassion. Diba? When you say you are being compassion to other, you are what? You are sharing. You are prepared and ready to share what you have, whether it is material thing or non-material. So you are willing to share that things to other people. So that is social justice. Sharing. Diba? Nag ikaw ay nagbibigay because you are compassionate. Ha? You are merciful. So ikaw ay maawain, ikaw ay ay mapagmahal, di ba? So you are merciful, you are compassionate. These are actually manifestation of social justice, di ba? So if you just if you will just imagine if if all Filipinos will actually practice or will show or manifest manifest compassions and mercy to other people, baka we will have a perfect society or utopia. Diba? Perfect society, utopia. Yan. Diba? And another thing, when we say social justice, it is also related to what we call empathy. Diba? So what is empathy? Diba? Nararamdaman mo ba? Empathy means you are putting yourself to the to other shoe or to the shoe of other people. Diba? You are, you, you feel yung pinanggagalingan, no? o yung you feel the con- the condition or the situation of other people that is empathy putting yourself to other to other shoes that is empathy diba so if if all of us will practice empathy merciful compassionate diba we will have a very good society at baka wala ng covid-19 kung lahat tayo ay nagkakaroon ng ganyang mga positive values as Filipinos. Okay? So these are very ano eh, these are very timely that we need to to talk about, no? We have to go back to our core. What makes us Filipino? Okay? What makes us what is our identity as Filipino? So my dear friends, no, our identity, what makes us Filipino is when we embrace and practice our core values as Filipinos. So, yan yung mga bagay na nag, na, nag, nag, uh, that makes us different from other nations. By embracing and practicing in our lives or our daily life the core values of the Filipinos. Kasi ito yung mga bagay na hindi na natin na pa-practice no nakakalimutan na because of this globalization, modernization, the fast facing of life. Sometimes we don't pay attention on the core values. And if you're going to ask teenagers or young adults at this moment, baka hindi na rin nila alam kung ano ba talaga yung mga core values ng pagiging Pilipino. Diba? Because uh, we know the fact that uh, young adults, no, the teenagers actually, the young children, are they are very engaged and hooked up with these technologies, the gadgets and the internet and the likes, the social medias. And uh, sometimes it's, sad, it's, it's very sad to hear no, and sometimes to accept that... Uh, Sometimes, ano ba yung mga nakikita nila, no? What are the things that they are seeing? What are the things that they are being exposed, no? What are the content of the things that they are being exposed in social medias, in the online gaze, and the like? Okay? Are those things actually promoting Filipino values or other Western or Oriental values? Okay? So, because of that, uh, seemingly, okay, or slowly, there is a, what we call a degradation of our values as a Filipino, as a society. No? Nababawasan o nawawala na yung ating mga values as Filipinos. And that is something that is 
that is uh, serious no? and it is actually it is a reality that we should uh, pay attention that we really need to revive the values the Filipino values that we learn from our forefathers okay and actually these are na these are very important no to know that uh, what are the causes for the erroneous norms of the morality okay and dami na ano ba yung mga nagpapabago sa sa values ng Filipinos no sa pag-uugali what are the things that can affect our attitude no what are the things that can affect our values as a society as a Filipino no now in in a sociological perspective there are two okay the first is the group centeredness or the group thinking yan so what is this so parang kung ano yung pin, kung ano yung tinatanggap okay ano yung pinapayagan o ini-embrace ng marami yun ang nagiging values yun ang nagiging set of values so this is very, this these are this is actually very dangerous kasi before no in the old times sa isang babae pag nagsuot ka ng 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 maikling damit okay papagalitan ka ng matatanda but nowadays diba pag nagsuot ka ng napakaikling damit okay lang why because people are actually uh, recognizing it nakasanayan na nila so many people are telling na it's okay to wear uh, uh, short pants diba or mini skirt when you are in the public okay so that is what we call the ano the group thinking if many people are actually uh, recognizing no? they are recognizing they are approving uh, there is what we call recognition of many people there is an approval of many people and mean many people are doing it it becomes the norms it becomes the values of a particular society diba and that is that is something that we need to to look uh, to look kanto no that uh, not all values or not all practices i mean no? not all practices that we are doing nowadays are actually ethical diba marami mga bagay na tayong ginagawa na hindi naman tama but it it makes it uh, tama or it makes it correct and right because many people are actually uh, doing it and many people are giving approval on it diba kaya yun yun ang nakakatakot dito diba wa yung yung ligawan sa text diba before in in the old times no if you would like to court diba in the the practice of courtship if you would like to court someone else or some somebody you need to directly go to their house pero ngayon diba te text mo lang o kaya nakakindatan mo lang sa jeep eh pagkatapos nun kayo na si so nakikita natin but uh, hindi siya pinag-uusapan because people have accepted it already and therefore it becomes the values it becomes the norm of the society diba so yun yung tinatawag natin na group thinking and it really change the value system of the society no it really changed the way we look at things in life no na ang dami mga bagay na mali pero nagiging tama diba kasi tama sila sa paningin ng marami okay pag marami gumagawa nagiging tama diba lalo na yung sugal diba so dahil marami nagsusugal o nakikita ng bata so, kung ano nakikita ng bata, yun din ang gagawin niya pag laki. Yung pag-inom, ba? Yung paninigarilyo. So, nakikita ng bata na, nagsus- na naninigarilyo, umiinom ang tatay-nanay. So, pag laki ni bata, ganun din ang gagawin niya. See? Another thing is on the basis of shame. Okay? And fear of authority figure. So, ito yung, ito yung ano, eto yung sinasabi natin na ano 
na uh, takot no uh, actually yung palusot na uh, yun uh, if I'm, sa sa layman layman na uh, layman's term ito yung palusot okay pag nahuli lulusot di ba so let's say in the school di ba those who are taking the exam all right may mga nagchichit na bata so these are dishonest children or learners so kapag hindi nahuli okay lang di ba pero pag nahuli siya lahat ng alibis and palusot dasabihin niya okay so that is what we call the ayan shame or fear of authority figure okay so natat- ginagawa mo lang siyang tama we're just doing that thing kapag somebody who's on authority is looking or watching over us pero pag wala nang nanonood pag wala nang tumitingin sa atin puro mali na yung ginagawa yan yun di ba so this thing can really damage our value system di ba kasi hindi naman natin we should not be ano no uh, yung values it should come it should come within di ba ano yan eh In, intrinsic yan eh Diba? So meaning if you a person nagkaroon na na, na na form yung values mo as a person, 'di ba? Yan ay naturally it will come out. It comes out kasi intrinsic yung kanyang pinanggagalingan, 'di ba? Na form siya within. So that is values nang gagaling yan sa labas at kusa yang lumalabas. So if you're a person na may breeding ka, 'di ba? You ris- ikaw yung yung values value oriented person di ba kumbaga you were raised uh, by your parents uh, you were nurtured by your by your by your parents in a way that you are value oriented okay kahit saan ka magpunta kahit wala pang nakatingin sa iyo it will come out naturally if you really possess the positive filipino values within you lalabas yan ng pusa. Pero, may mga tao na ano, na gumagawa lang na maganda kapag nasa media. Di ba? They're just go, do, doing beautiful things or positive things kasi nandyan yung camera. So, pinapakita nila na, na mabait sila, matulungan sila, pero, that is not their real personality behind the camera. Di ba? May mga tao din na mga na ano na nagbabait-baitan, di ba? Kapag merong nagsisipagsipagan. So pag nandiyan yung boss, kapag nandiyan yung authority, ang babait, di makaba di makabasag pinggan. Pero they're just doing it because they have fear of authority figure. So yun yan, may mga taong ganyan. Maba ma, ano tilo, mga plastic no or nagbabalat kayo. Yan, okay? So they ito yung mga reasons no that can really destroy the core values of the Filipinos. Uh, that's why it's very important for us to know ano ba yung mga bagay na nakakasira sa ating uh, values, sa core values natin as Filipinos. Okay? So let us continue. Okay? Now, of course, in all right, in psychology, 'di ba? In psychology, Marami pang ano no uh, when you talk about psychoanalysis no by Sigmund Freud di ba in psychology okay he explained that uh, actually when you talk about the behavior of a person okay meron siyang pinagmumulan di ba it is related to our subconscious or unconscious subconsciousness big sabihin sabi niya may mga may mga experiences tayo ng bata no na nakaka nakaka-affect these are our past experiences from our childhood that can really affect the, our behavior at present so in psychology yan. now in his in his theory of psychoanalysis or psychoanalytic no he described the three stages so meron siya tinatawag na, na una is the id di ba so the level of the id we're in This is irrational. The id is only concerned about the desires. 'Di ba? 
the desire of a person. Ano yung mga desires mo? Mga urges of the person. And there should be instant gratification. So, may mga taong ganun na they become irrational. They are controlled with their desire. May mga tao na nag- ang, they are longing for more money. ba? Diba? Meron na silang pera but they are not uh, contented. That's why they are longing, they are desiring for more wealth. Kaya korap ng korap. See? So, may mga ganyan na, sa level sila ng id. Ang pinapagana nila na level ng kanilang consciousness, yung kanilang subconscious na id. Because they are simply, uh, they are simply blinded by the desires. So, what they are hearing, what they are following is the desire of their flesh. Desire for wealth. Desire for relationship. Desire for licentiousness. Yan. Diba? So, yun yung id. So, that is irrational kasi hindi na nag-iisip yan. Basta sa id part or id level, what you need to satisfy uh, is your desire. So, may mga taong ganyan. Another level is what we call yung tinatawag natin ego. Diba? So according to to Sigmund Freud, tung ego na to, this is the level where, this is a the, a level in our consciousness wherein we know what is bad and what is wrong. So there is already a provision, diba? So there is or, there is already what we call the rational thinking, diba? So hindi mo gagawin to because you know that that is bad. Gagawin mo to because this is good. So that is ego. Ba? So, I hope that many people are actually doing this level of of our consciousness that we are in the ego level because we know what is good and we know what is bad. Ba? So, we we actually promote the goodness of us and we have to change the bad side of us. Ba? We have to improve the bad side or the aspect in our life. And then the last one is what we call the super ego. Yeah. So the super ego is the what we call the con- uh, the conscience, di ba? So actually yung yung conscience natin that is the super ego, di ba? So this is listening to our conscience, na? And this conscience is actually in our heart. And conscience is also related to our spirituality. Diba? So nagpapakabanal, di ba? So if if you are if you are trying to become holy and you are exercising uh, frequently your conscience, so you are using your super ego. Di ba? The level of your subconsciousness, your super ego. And you are listening to your conscience as a person. And my dear friends, no, what we need right now, no? in this uh, trying times is that we need to really practice listening to our conscience. No? So, yun nakikita ko, eh, no? na siguro uh, lahat tayo, no? kung lahat ng mga Filipinos will listen, listen to their conscience and we will go back and revive our Filipino values our core values as a filipinos perhaps we can easily get rid or we can easily find a better solution to battle and to win over this covid-19 diba that is why sa panahon ng pandemic this time of pandemic no we really need to what to exercise to practice our humanity na yun na mahalaga na tayo magpakatao at maging tao. Diba? Kasi hindi pwede na ano, na we will just think of our of our personal gain. Diba? Hindi pwede ganyan. Alam natin mga Pilipinos, no? In our culture, meron, tarong, meron pa rin tayong ano, regionalistic approach na culture. We're in in regionalistic, you are more concerned about the, your family Diba? Bago, bago tulungan ng iba, tutulungan mo ng pamilya. Okay? In this time of pandemic, no, we should we should go away with that regionalistic 
approach of okay so we have to 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 re, to get away from that regionalistic approach and what we need to do is to change our thinking into nationalistic approach palagi nating iisipin na yung our contribution whether it is small or big our contribution to the society the things that we can do to our society can contribute to the whole nation as a whole so that that is the framework that we should uh, think or we should do at present so if all of us will think nationalistic way diba yung approach natin is nationalistic yung gagawin natin yung sibling paglabas natin sa bahay na uh, nang walang dahilan paglilibot sa kalye na walang dahilan ay mape-prevent kasi ang iniisip mo ay hindi lang ang iyong pamilya ang hindi lang iyong barangay ang iniisip mo ay ang buong bansa di ba and that is something that we need to do right now we should not only save our family or save our relatives save ourselves we need to do what we need to do right now is to save the entire Philippines. Diba? Because if something happens to the Philippines, this is the only home that we have, if something happens to our country, all of us will perish. Okay? So, let's start thinking nationalistic. Kaya ang tanong, ano ba ang magagawa ko? What can I contribute to the nation? right now in this time of pandemic diba? ano ba yung magagawa ko in my little manner in my little things diba? in my little effort or endeavor what can I do that will help that will contribute to the to the healing factor of this nation. So that is something that we need to think right now. We have to remove the regionalistic way of thinking, the personalistic way of thinking. We have to remove all of those thoughts. And what we need to do right now is to think what can we do, what can we contribute to this nation para all of us will recover as one all of us will heal as one and all of us will move as one okay so my dear friends thank you for tuning in and I hope you enjoyed the discussion for today okay so always remember that every Saturday I am doing a live stream here on my YouTube channel. It's John Padillon. And if you like this video, this discussion, ha, don't forget to uh, to press the, the subscribe button and also the notification bell and the like button. Okay? So, thank you very much for tuning in. This has been Sir Wilson on this very informative discussion on my opinion matters. So, always remember how difficult how difficult this life is. Do not forget that God alone is enough. That's according to St. Therese of Avila. So, my dear friends, see you next Saturday on another round of this discussion on My Opinion Matters. So, thank you very much and bye-bye.